Hello my friends, welcome to Forex with KS. Today is 30th of September 2021. Today is uh, Thursday. So let's check out the introduction before we go into the news and the chart. Disclaimer, be advised that I am not a professional financial consultant or advisor. I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay, let's check out the news, some of the news going on uh, these few days. Okay, let's see the, today we got uh, China manufacturing PMI actually dropped, uh, okay, so this is not so good. For China, probably not so good for uh, AUD and the USD, uh, AUD and NZD also. We got a uh, final GDP coming in uh, for quarterly GDP uh, for USD. Uh, so this one have to watch out. They expect 6.6, .6, uh, same number. Unemployment claim, okay, they expect a drop today for USD. Chicago PMI, they expect a drop. And we also got Fed, we got a lot of FOMC members Speaking FOMC, uh, Federal Cha Fed Chair Powers testify, FOMC member William speaks, and also uh, FOMC member William Bostick speaks. So, and also in the later we got uh, FOMC member Evan speaks. So a lot of these are uh, 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 FOMC members speaking. So this today still there is some uh, could be some okay uh, volatility in the market okay still can some we can see a big volatility there as we said right either the market doesn't move okay no direction or either after the after the fed uh uh after the fomc after the fed uh testifies right okay after the the member fomc member speak you can see big volatility volatility and you saw it yesterday right yesterday and uh day before big big volatility so uh but that one it's uh, in our favor, uh, so we did many, many, we managed to capture many good trades, okay, these few days, okay, due to the volatility. And yesterday, was, we also have a uh, government Bailey, government Corona speak, Fed Chair Power speak. Okay, I check out the, the, uh, the news, doesn't, doesn't say much about, okay, these three, uh, this, uh, this event yesterday, right, so seems like they are not too explosive, what they are talking, okay, it's uh, in line with the, after a bit, a bit, uh, the economy uh, forecast, okay. So, uh, let's check out uh, tomorrow. We got a uh, bank, China bank holiday. We got a uh, German final manufacturing PMI, German PMI. We got GDP for CAT. You got core uh, PCE price for US. We got ISM manufacturing PMI. You uh, University of Mich Michigan consumer sentiment. So, the, the, the still we need to watch out this one, uh, okay. This one we need to watch out tonight. Okay, this one have to be careful. Then coming tomorrow, most likely, okay, more important is the CAT, Canadian GDP. Okay, this one could be direction change. Huh? Okay, could cause, uh, could cause direction change. Also, we got this uh, PCI price index also quite important. And a uh, manufacturing PMI, right, for US. So tomorrow will be US, have to be careful, okay. Other than that, uh, and CAT, okay, CAT and US, be careful, and today also we have to be careful with the USD, okay. So let's check out uh, <coughs> the chart. Before that, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, we do, uh, we do every day, right, 11 o'clock, we publish, uh, 11 to 12 o'clock, we publish a video on the uh, Forex, uh, crypto, and also if some indexes uh, at uh, GMT. Plus eight, ah, uh, okay, eleven o'clock, okay, eleven o'clock GMT plus eight, which is Singapore time. Eight o eleven o'clock, okay.
Okay, anything <coughs> after that I will post. Okay, after the video, any opportunity I will post on my Twitter Forex BKS. And remember, do like the channel. Okay, give your support to the channel. We have been doing this for quite some time now, and uh, the response is we are gathering momentum. Uh. Okay, I would I would really like to thank everybody. We are really gathering momentum recently. Thank you for your sharing. Thank you for your like. And remember, if you're new here, do subscribe. Uh, okay, and like. Okay, and uh, share this with your friend, your community, your group. Okay, uh, the Facebook. Okay, which way do you want? Okay, which way you want it? So let's take a look at the chart. Okay, so this one also another one hit our target. So all this I did post on my on my uh, uh I did post all this on my. Twitter, okay, Twitter, I posted all these, you know, uh, the XY broken through 93 expected as expected and reached target and uh, US, Euro USD also broke through support one reached target, you know, all these things I posted. AUD USD is a bit stubborn, a bit slower. Uh, the XY also hit, hit target, you know, all these things. So don't forget, uh, check out my Forex BKS, anything, any goodies, okay, I will post there after the video. So, we're talking about DXY. Okay, yesterday we talked about here. We want it to break through here. Okay, ninety three point seven nine. Only we want to initiate a trade because we got this tail here, which is quite dangerous. So the price did retest. Okay, and break through. Okay, so this this one already hit our target. So this one actually is we are still bullish. It's very strong actually. USD is very strong, so we are still bullish on this. There is a still probability that the price will retest R2 and go up again to R3. When we talk about 3, right? Resistance 3, uh, we, need to, we need to add resistance 3. Uh, means what? Market is volatile. Uh, okay, means market is moving very fast. Now you see, again, we are talking about resistance 3, right? So market is fast. Normally, if the market is quiet, right? The whole week, right? We only use resistance 1 and resistance 2. Means number 1 and number 2 only. Or support 1, support 2. When we talk about support, support 3, or support four or resistance three, resistance four means the levels is, is is going through the level very quickly. Okay, so this one, okay, so there is a uh, two looks like uh most probably two scenario here. It could retrace around resistance two, okay, rebound to resistance three when it break through, okay, the high of this candle. Or the price might drop back to here, okay, ninety three point seven nine nine the breakthrough over here and rebound. Okay, for a buy opportunity around this area here and here. Okay, so we are still bullish on uh, USD and DXY, Euro USD, Euro USD again. We said okay, Euro USD. After it goes through this uh, support one, okay, this uh, end of this uh, the bottom of the tail bar over here right the bottom of the tail bar over here okay because we got this uh, support over here okay so we we don't want to buy after the breakout we don't want to sell after the breakout of the consolidation because we still have a level to break so after it break the level okay there is a possibility to sell towards the target so this one both also hit target at the support two so this one also we are going to talk about support three Okay, now we know that the market is moving very fast. Every time we talk about okay, putting the three layer of a uh, uh, supporting trend line or or resisting trend line, we know that the market is very fast. Okay, so this one similar. Okay, we might have a retest, a short, a short retest to support two, and okay, a break at the close, a four hour close below a support one, support two. Uh, sorry, the bottom of this candle, okay, there's a possible sell opportunity towards support, support 3 or the, okay, price might come back to support 1, rebound to support 2, okay, so that we got a bearish price action over here, then possible there is a sell opportunity at support 1. But don't rule out there is a possibility that the price still can come back to resistance 1, uh, okay, don't think that after the price already, uh, 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 went down so much right it must continue to go down there is no mass in the market right remember we trade okay as the what the price actions show us okay we don't trade based on our own bias okay if 
our own bias, right? Our own, uh, our own uh, uh, forecast or our own bias, right? Can really, really beat the market, right? Then we just every day uh, <coughs> just sit and guess, okay? Sit and guess, and you become a millionaire. Then we, how I hope that it, it it could be so easy, right? So the thing is very simple. Make your chart simple. Okay, look at the important levels and trade off of those important levels. Okay. USD J, uh, USD JPY, USD GPY has reached our first target, second target also reached now R3. You see, this one can even go to R4. This is the fastest. When we when we put in R4, right? <laughs> R4. See this one. This one is the fastest uh, that uh, move the most. When we put in R4, means it's very very volatile. It's moving like crazy. Uh. Okay. So this one, what we what we want to see is possible a retrace to R3. Okay, a short term retracement and a possible a rebound towards R4. Okay. When you want to see this pattern, right? This one, two, three break. Okay, one, two, three break. Okay, to work R four. So, but there's not too much gap to do that, huh? Unless you come back here, uh, it got a pin bar or a bullish engulfing candle, then maybe you want to trade over for R three to R four. One, two, three break is not relevant because it's too near to the resistance. Okay, it's too near to the resistance. R4 is too near to the resistance, so we need to have a pin bar here for support for it to go up. Okay, so this one most likely we want to wait for this to happen here, or it could still come down to resistance too. Okay, there's no, nothing prevent it to come down. Okay, market want to do whatever it does, we follow it, we find the opportunity uh, within it, within the move. Okay, within the move, then we execute. Okay, we don't want to. Predict. Oh, I say that this one must be coming up. I must keep on continue to buy. Now, does market doesn't work like that? So AUD USD AUD USD is a bit more stubborn. Okay, breakthrough. Uh, it broke through the consolidation. Now it's retracing a bit, trying to come back to retest this area. Okay, but this could be a second chance for you to enter if you miss it here. Okay, this would be a second chance. If the price come back here, printed a bearish pin bar or bearish engulfing. There is a second opportunity for you. Okay, for us to sell towards support too. Or it might possible come back to resistance. Uh, as I said, there's nothing preventing it to do what it what it wants to do. Okay, or wonder what the uh, market manipulators want it to happen. Okay, so this one still possible. The price might come back to here. So this one just wait and see. If you are if, if you already went in selling this, okay, continue to continue to hold. USD cat, USD cat slowly moving up. Okay. We 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 didn't have an opportunity here as support one because it doesn't print out a very good chart pattern. No doubt we got a bullish engulfing candle here, but it's too near to resistance. You see now the price has really stopped at resistance R1. Uh, from R1 to R2, I'm not keen to trade because all this. Okay, as I said, I see too many tail over here. This is not a place that I want to buy. Pound USD, okay, pound USD, we talked about this one, right? We wait for a retracement, then another sell opportunity towards support too, but the retracement is really short. A very short retracement. If you manage to catch it, this is still a one, two, three continuation. If you see, okay, this is a one, two, three continuation. But this is a very fast one. If you can, if you manage to catch it, congratulations. If you didn't, there's plenty of trade. Okay, one, two, three. Right, there's a break. Okay, one, two, three continuation. 
if you don't manage if you didn't manage to get it never mind okay we got so many trade this week coming in so uh another break okay another break towards target another trade towards target now this one right again we might want to put in support three here we want to put in support three <laughs> not might we just want to put in support three because it's just so volatile okay so there's a similar possibility maybe a rejection as support two to support three or maybe the price might come back to test support one towards support two okay so this one uh, wait and see where the price want to okay retrace remember we want to wait for a bearish price action before we okay a one two three break or a bearish price action before we sell uh, okay don't sell blindly just uh Just uh, use your imagination, right? Okay. We open our eyes, see the proper price section, and sell. Okay. Don't imagine your own uh, uh, imaginary sell uh, signal. Okay. A proper signal, a printed out signal, then only we sell. Okay. So this one, uh, another one hit target. We talked about the break of support one. Okay. This uh, 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 one, two, three continuation. Or this cons consolidation, right? The break of consolidation. It's a possible sell opportunity over here. The break of the, this uh, uh, low, so the price did break through, hit first target. Now hit now on its way to support three second target. Okay, so this one continue to hold. If you haven't take profit, if you're holding it, continue to hold. Most likely the price will come back to support two and rebound, possible to support three. A uh, rejection and now goes to support three. Uh, all possible, it might come back to support one area for okay and rejection, possible rejection from here. Okay, there is. And also, there is nothing preventing that the price can go the other way. Uh, okay, market can happen anything, so we have to monitor. Whenever there is profit on the table, okay, hit our target. Maybe you want to take some. If you think this one can go longer, okay, maybe you take some, leave some. Okay, if you are not so sure when the price hit your target, okay, just take profit, right? So uh, go also hit our target. This one I said short term only because there's no not enough gap for the day candle trader to trade. So the price went through, uh, went through this one right one two three continuation went to the bottom over here hit the target now coming back to retest most likely okay uh, high very high probability the price will come will come here and rebound and get rejection possible coming down possible to S P or coming to support one rejection okay to support two. Let's mark S3 so the market is very fast. Suddenly it's very fast, very liquid. Okay, SVI. SP200, SP200, we talk about this spin bar, right? Another, okay, another sell, successfully, successful sell opportunity here. We got DXY, EUUSD, uh, Pound, USD, New, New Zealand, USD, all hit target. So this one also hit our target as support two. Okay, after it hit support two, what's happening? Okay, the price is starting to retrace. So there is another sell opportunity properly possible at uh, support one. Or resistance one okay the price might come here printed a bearish price action sell opportunity or the price might come back to here okay a bearish price action over here for a sell opportunity because we still got this huh okay we still got this resistant trend line over here okay to prevent it okay to uh, uh some have some bearish strong bearish momentum over here The DEX. Okay, DEX, we didn't sell here because I don't want to trade this area. So there's a possible another sell opportunity waiting for here. Uh, support one, okay. A rejection over here. Okay, possible there's a sell opportunity over here. Once the price go inside here, if the price do come to resistance one, 15823, a rejection over here, right? Then possible there is a sell opportunity over here because we have this. Okay, re rejection. Uh, uh, resistant trend line over here 
Nasdaq. So Nasdaq broke broke below our bias line. So this one, right? Still we are still bearish. If the price can break through, okay. If the price break through this uh 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 low over here, there's a still possibility of a sell trade, huh? 1.7, okay, 1.4716, if the price 4 hour, we need a 4 hour close below this, then possible there's a sell opportunity towards support too. So this one, let's mark it, okay, we have a sell opportunity over here. Dow Jones, so Dow Jones is, uh, Dow Jones is a bit difficult, huh? okay, Dow Jones is a bit difficult. Okay, Dow Jones is hovering around here at our bias line. Let me see. Okay, okay, so we are still selling this. Okay, uh, price is slowly going up. So a rejection at support two possible. There's sell opportunity here, uh, from support one to support two, three, four, seven, two, one to three, four, two, one, one. S and P. So S and P big big drop. Okay, another big drop yesterday. Now the price is holding below this uh, support one. Uh, our bias line four three seven seven. So okay, there's a possible sell opportunity if the price break through this. Uh, okay, this candle. Okay, the price break through this candle. Possible there is a possible sell opportunity towards four three zero seven. Okay, you see the price got rejected over here. So uh, there's a possible sell opportunity over here. But do not, uh, okay, do not, do take note that all this, right, is already well extended, uh, okay? We call this, this type of move, right, inefficient move, uh, okay? Means a sudden big burst towards a uh, 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 target. So this one, right? A lot of time, uh, okay, the correction will quite be would be huge also. So we might we might get huge correction, okay. So uh, do be careful. Do take note, uh, okay. It, it doesn't always continue to fly. Sometimes when you start to correct, right, the correction will be quite huge. Uh, so just uh, just uh, be mindful of uh, this, okay, this type of uh, event. So uh, let's check out the crypto. So crypto is slowly winding down, slowly going down. Now got some support over here, forty thousand Bitcoin. The bulls are not letting it through, uh, forty thousand. Uh, okay, so as long as holding above forty thousand is is quite good. Okay, this was the price that we went in last time, so uh, still okay. But still, it need to break through this, uh, okay, break through this, uh, 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 uh channel. As as I said, we are not trading, we are not trading, uh, this uh, crypto. Okay, we don't want to hold. Uh, trade crypto because crypto is a bit too volatile to trade for me. Okay, at least for me, it's too volatile to trade. What I'm uh, doing with the crypto is I'm holding it similar to okay buying invest long term investment like gold, okay, or property or real estate. Those are them. But of course, we don't hold twenty years, ten years like real estate. Okay, this one is still a asset that I would purchase, put it there. Okay. And hopefully, okay, it can give me a, a, a you know, a few times of a return, okay, three, four, two, four, three, four, four, four of return, you know, instead of a in a few years time, instead of like real estate, you have to double up the value, maybe in ten, twenty years, okay, you only you maybe can can have a chance if the economy is good, you might have a chance to double the value of your real estate property in ten, twenty years. There's a possibility, okay, but. This one, right? We, I, it's, it's an asset that I, I believe, right? It can double, triple, okay, or four times our, uh, our invested, uh, capital, right? In a few, could be in a few months time or in a few years time, okay. So this is the, our long term, short and long term. It depends on what happening, what is happening end of the year, okay. Whether end of the year the crypto, you see, crypto have a cycle of four years, right? Four years, ah, uh, it will go for a peak. Okay, four years, every four years, right? Crypto, right? It got this tendency for uh, uh, every four years. Okay, if you reach its peak, then come back down. Okay, and uh, slowly building up. Okay, and the next another four years. Okay, it got a cycle to go to a peak again. 
So we are not sure how far, okay? We ne nobody is sure how far this cycle could go, okay? If this, this, this cycle cannot go, then you maybe have to next, wait for the next four years, okay? For another, for another cycle to go to the peak, okay? But we are expecting this year, the peak maybe at a, uh, at, uh, will be around December, okay? The peak will be around December, so we are, we are hoping to take some profit, Okay, on a December, once the once this uh this uh cryptocurrency cycle goes to the peak, okay, and maybe keep some, okay, or maybe wait for it after take profit, right? Wait for it to drop some, okay. Then a uh, dollar, uh, average down, okay, average down when it drops to very cheap, right? We just keep on collecting bit for the next cycle, next four years. So we are repeating this to double, triple our investment, okay. Yeah, uh, this is what I'm doing with the uh, crypto. Crypto is not day-to-day -day trading, okay, looking at profit, picking some profit over here, yeah, yeah, Euro USD picking some profit over here, no, this is something that I invest like a, like a uh, real estate, okay, like a, a tangible asset, but this one, right, we, I don't want to wait 20 years, okay, how real estate, we have to wait 20, 30 years to get, to maybe to get a, a double up. So this one we are expecting every four years it would double up, okay. So uh, you see you see crypto right? You see uh Bitcoin right? Where were Bitcoin four years ago? Let's see. Okay, I give you a sample right. Okay, you see four years ago the peak was here right? Okay, the peak was uh uh at, at uh twenty thousand right? After it dropped to what? Okay, after it dropped to 3,000, okay, 3,000, uh, the previous, uh, after the previous peak, right, it dropped to 3,000, okay, the, the bottom is 3,000, if you bought, uh, if you bought at 3,000, right, now, now crypto, uh, now Bitcoin is at 40,000, you know, how many fold you already make, right, so this one, we expect it, okay, how many times you already make, 3 to 10 times, right, okay, more than 10 times, right, if you can sell at the peak 60,000 here, right, you already make how many times? 20 times, right? Okay, so this one we expect, okay, we do expect it to go higher at least, okay, three to five times. I don't think it can make 20, uh, it can make 20 times of the value because, okay, three to 60 is easy. 60 to 600,000 is difficult, right? So uh, it's not so easy, right? The market cap need to be so, 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 so much bigger. But we expect, do expect this one will come back to a few folds, uh, this is what we are looking at. This is how we are playing the uh, cryptocurrency game. We are not playing it like a stock market. We are not playing it like Forex. We are playing it like investing in uh, real estate, and investing in gold, okay, long-term investment. Okay, so hopefully this one, uh, you get what I'm talking about here. And uh, if you like it, if you like my channel, remember always subscribe to me every day, okay, got a, uh, Every day, 11 o'clock Singapore time, we got a video out, and uh, after that, I'll post on, uh, on the Twitter, and remember Sunday, Saturday, not Sunday, Saturday, we got a weekly forecast, okay? So do like my channel, share this with your friend, check out my Twitter, Forex with KS, and do subscribe. See you again tomorrow. Stay safe from coronavirus. Bye-bye.